Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of tracking categories in Xero. Now tracking categories are Xero's version of cost centers or profit centers, and you can use them to split income and expenses through different categories such as regions or departments or even product categories if you like. I use the Australian version of Xero's demo company in this video but it's pretty much the same for any country. So no matter which version of Xero you're using, you can just follow along with this video. Okay, so let's jump into Xero now and get started. So just from the main dashboard screen here, all you need to do is go into accounting and advanced. So that just gets you to the advanced settings and you should see tracking categories down here on the right. So just click on that. And that takes you to the tracking categories page. So in the demo company, we've already got one category set up called region. And you can see down here, it's got tracking category name and region. And then underneath you have four different regions and they're known as the category options. So you can actually add more options. You can actually add um, quite a few of them um, if you like. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show you how to add another option. So you just click on this button here and we'll just add one called central. So we'll just hit save. Okay, so now we've got five options and uh, central is in there with them. So the other things you can do to these uh, categories and options that are already set up, you can you can get rid of them just by clicking on the crosses on the side, or you can rename them just by clicking on rename. And of course, if you want to add even more of them, you can go ahead and just click on add another option and just keep going and adding them. So what we're gonna do next is actually add a second category and we're gonna call it department. So I'll just click on add tracking category. Okay, so I'll just call that department and I'll just add a few departments. Okay, so I've got three in there. I'll, I'll just add a few more. So I'll click on add another item. And just one more. Okay, that should do. So we've got five departments there um, as the category options. So if we just click on save. Okay, so it's got its own tab there. So now we've got the region tracking category with its various options. And we've got the department tracking category with its various options. And I can see that I've actually just spelled that wrong. So I'll just rename it. Okay, that's better. All right, so you can use these just like you can use cost centers and profit centers in other accounting software. So it's not massively sophisticated here in Xero, but you can use it for that purpose but it is actually quite restrictive. So I'll just show you what I mean. If I click on add tracking category again, you can see here I get this message saying that you can only have four categories in total and only two of them can, can be active categories at any one time. So I've got two active categories. These are both active, which means I can't create another tracking category until I actually delete one of um, the ones that I've got at the moment or I archive them as this message says. So that's why it's a little bit restrictive. So if you do want to use tracking categories, you're going to have to um, be clever in, in how you actually set them up. So now that we've got them set up though, I'll just show you a few things that you can do with them. So if we go into say invoices and we just choose this first invoice. So this is one that's already set up. Um, and um, just to speed things up a little bit. And you can see down here, it's got two lines on the invoice and we've got region and department there. So those are the two tracking categories. Now, if I just edit the invoice, this is going to allow us to actually choose some regions and departments for these lines. And you have to do it line by line. So if I click on here and just click on the little down arrow there, you can see that it's given me all of those different options for the regions. Um, so I can just choose one of them or I can pick none. Or if there's a new region, I can click on here and just add the region here to the list. So let's just pick central. So that one's in there now. And then we can come across and also 
assign it to a department. So let's just say it's sales, that one. And then we can go to the next line and we can actually put the next line in completely different um, tracking options like that. And once you're done, you can click on update. And we've now assigned those particular amounts um, for those transactions to those particular um, tracking options within the categories. So obviously you can do this when you're actually creating the invoice as well. You don't have to come in and edit an invoice that's already there. And you can also do it for bills. So if I just pick a bill, once again, you can go in and edit the bill and just choose those um, options in there. So I won't do it here because it's exactly the same as what I just showed you. And it's not just for invoices and bills. You can do it for all kinds of different um, transactions as well. And you can do it for your employees in uh, payroll as well. So those are some of the things that you can use it for. And I'll just show you in reports that when you go and run a report, so let's run the profit and loss report. You can click on this filter button and you can choose the categories. So you can choose department and then you can go through and just select the one or the ones that you want. If you want multiple ones on there and then hit apply and you can rerun the report just for that particular um, tracking option, for example, for finance. And you can do that also for region. So it's just the same thing. And you can also just go back to reports and just to show you that you can actually do it for um, all or most of the reports in here. So we can do it for the balance sheet as well, just as another example. Okay, you can see the filter button there again, and you can see those tracking categories there again. So you can just go ahead and do that for just about any report um, that you like. So that's how you can use them um, as cost centers and profit centers in Zero. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our Zero courses. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.